just a quick video because today the Australian Communication and Media Authority have released some more information on the transition arrangements to the new class licence which will affect VK amateurs. Most important thing is the date. 19th of February is when the new changes will start. 19th of February 2024. That's just over two months away. These arrangements will include the ACMA taking over call sign issue, administration of exams, and probably most of interest, the fee-free class license. That's where we'll move from an individually licensed apparatus license to a fee-free class license. First of all, we need to mention that the existing license categories, Foundation, Standard and Advanced, are staying the same. Also, no changes to license conditions like frequencies and output power. But what will change is the qualifications framework and syllabi that will be revised. More information on that will come out just before the class license takes effect. It's important that you are paid up until February the 19th next year. After that, you don't pay any license fee. There will be refund arrangements where amateurs can surrender their individual license because they don't need it anymore under the class license system and get a refund of part of their license fee. Amateurs with a license expiry date of 9th to 12th 2024 or later may be eligible for that. There'll be more information on that on the ACMA website. In any case, existing amateurs will get a letter in January 2024 explaining the new arrangements. What about amateur call signs? Call signs that are effective on the 19th of February 2024 will be transitioned across to the new arrangements. You won't need to do anything there. For call signs issued from the 19th of February 2024, that will be via a call sign certificate issued by the ACMA. No longer the Australian Maritime College. I'll talk about that in a bit more detail later. Call signs will be issued in perpetuity, except that every five years, the ACMA will contact you to ask if you still need the call sign. That's just to prove that your details are correct and the call sign is still required. So important to keep your address current with the ACMA still, even if you're not paying an annual fee anymore. Now there are some exceptions with the call signs. Certain call signs will only be issued for a 12 month term. These are special event calls, contest call signs and VK9 and VK0 call signs. So just bear those arrangements in mind. But for most of us on mainland Australia and Tasmania, it will be five years. What about the Australian Maritime College? They will be out of the picture completely under the new arrangements. They'll no longer be administering the exam system. That goes to the ACMA. Neither will they be issuing call signs. Again, that will be an ACMA job, just as it used to be. There will be a transition period uh, some activities will wind down from 12th of January, other activities winding down the 12th of February. If you are an accessor or if you are planning to do an amateur exam soon, just be mindful of those dates. More information on the ACMA website. After that, there's a short gap in February and then all the new arrangements come into effect 19th of February 2024 with the ACMA in charge. Talking about charges, but a different kind, as I mentioned before, the big thing with the class license is no annual license fee. That's right, no annual license fee. No more paying $55 a year, whatever it was. It's now no license fee for Australian amateurs. There are still some fees if you're getting an amateur license or upgrading. There's $45.20 for a recognition certificate issued by the ACMA if you've completed and passed an amateur exam. Also, after that, call sign recommendation. That is, if you want to get a call sign, it's a one-off fee. 
having passed the exam or you just want to change your call sign. Uh, the amounts there vary between $30.15 and $52.75 depending on there's a few little things like whether it's a two letter call sign in certain states all that sort of thing. Anyway roughly $30 to $50 to get a call sign issued from the ACMA. Then there's recognition of prior learning. Um, that's a bit more expensive, $188.35. That is if you have a qualification that you think means that you don't have to do an amateur exam. Let's say you're an electronics technician, engineer, whatever, then that costs over $188. You might actually be better off just sitting an amateur exam anyway, but that option is there if you need it. Uh, as far as assessments go, um, the ACMA has published information for assessors. Um, if you're an existing AMC assessor, then you'll be able to be transitioned over to the new arrangement. If you want to apply to become a new assessor, if you're interested in educating PAMs, maybe uh, if you're in a radio club and your club needs to run assessments and you want to become a new assessor, then those arrangements will be handled by the ACMA. Um, and that will be open from the 19th of February next year. But anyway, some information on the ACMA website on that. Um, as far as travelling overseas goes, there were some early concerns about that. Uh, how would overseas governments recognise your licence? Anyway, you'll be able to take the letter of confirmation and uh, recognition certificate. So that's a quick wrap up of the class licence changes happening the 19th of February next year. I haven't gone into all the detail, but I'll have a link just below where you can look it up on the ACMA website and you'll also get a letter in the mail in January next year from the ACMA explaining the new arrangements. And know that doubt they'll also talk about the um, provisions for refunds if you want to refund part of a license fee. So that's it. Just thought it was important that I do this update. And if you are thinking of getting into amateur radio, now's probably a really good time to think about it. Uh, we've got on HF the conditions improving with the solar cycle on the way up. That means that bands like 10 and 15 meters are, are coming good. And with these new arrangements, it's going to be simpler administration, no annual fee, and the exam's cheaper as well. So. A lot of reasons if you've been holding off getting an amateur license to learn a bit more about it and especially if you can do an exam just think about early part of next year as a good time to be thinking of getting into amateur radio and I've got a book that can help you on that the Australian ham radio handbook there's information on my website vk3ye.com you can buy it from Amazon as an ebook so have a look at that and you might still be able to find copies of it in some JCAR stores. So that's the Australian Ham Radio Handbook, a get started guide for amateurs in Australia. Details on my website, vk3ye.com.